Classic. All right, all right, all right, man. This is episode 198, man. We want to thank y'all for tuning in, man. Going down your dial and stop, <laughs> stopping here on the pod. Do, do they still have dials? If you have a dial in your car, man, that means uh, your shit's probably you old. You got to dial up. <laughs> you know what I'm Damn, saying? dial up internet connection is crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Remember like, that crazy ass noise you used to make? You try to connect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? You thought you was hot too. Hot shit then. Man. Sorry, that shit was terrible. I couldn't afford it. I stole somebody else. Nope, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey man, how, how's everybody, man? How's everybody, man? We had a good week, bad week. What's going on? How's everything? Uh, I realized how stupid I was I this week, man. You know, oh, for I, real. I took a test, and the mere sight of that scantron had me shaking in my boots. <laughs> I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But I looked around the room of like 2,000 some people. I realized all of us are stupid. Oh. Everybody's stupid. And what what made me feel the best was I looked two rows to the left. I saw my cousin Rod. What up, Rod? He looked just as stupid as me. <laughs> And I loved it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not used to Scantron test being that long. That shit was 150 circles to fill in. I was seeing dots the rest of the goddamn day. How many yeah. hours did you all have? Uh, four hours for the test. It was two parts. Uh, open book for 40 minutes. Episode really made me feel stupid. I couldn't oh. find shit. I still wanted to go on memory. Oh, no. And then the last three hours and 10 minutes was like off your fucking memory for real. And I was like, yeah. I'm looking at all these babies in here. You know, living in a mom basement. They had none but time to study. Then you look at that, the old cast in the room that got one job, two job, kids, responsibilities, priorities, engagements to go to. I was like, yeah, it's over with. It's over with. That's you gotta take go. a you gotta take a, a multiple choice with the with the idea of like POE, process of elimination. Facts. You gotta get you gotta get rid of the ones that make absolutely no sense. And then you have to like guess. That's true. <laughs> That's true. And every question I eliminated two answers. But you know, these test writers are so tricky because they lame as hell. Like, well, we, we lame people stick together. They so lame though, but it'd be three answers that'd be so Similar. motherfucking simple. I'd be like, Joe, what? Yeah. And then they're like inverted. The first time and the last time I took that test, uh, I kept my coat on. My mother made me do Cap. it. Whatever. You kept your coat on? Kept my coat on. And uh put C all the way down. Oh. <laughs> I was the first person out of that. I couldn't do it. We were, it was at UIC. And it was like 500 people in the uh, in the gymnasium. And it was just like, like, it was. I was claustrophobic. It was hot. I was like, I don't want to do this you anyway. You were ready for that, right? Yeah, I just was like, let me let me purposely fail. And so, yeah. You get about it now? Man, I could I really fail. thought about fucking the whole crowd up and having a Malcolm X moment and just standing up and shouting, get your hands on my pocket. <laughs> so I can get more time to study. Like, hey, everybody, test got to go. We got to stop this shit. Test over next week. Was it a lot of women in there? First, when I walked in, I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed. No, I can't. I walked in looking for ass. It turned to a sausage fest. I was like, bro, I'm done. This test is for losers. That's it, though. So funny. Well, my right. week my week was good until that ridiculous clip came out. <laughs> what clip do thy speak of? Hey man, we need to talk about your editing and and how you throw me under the bus. What was that about? I threw you under the bus. You threw me under the bus. How so? Which oh bus? my goodness. The man, the, uh, well, let's let's, let's, uh, let's start here. Let's, let's the number give, six. He number, threw me under the number six. <laughs> let's let's give some. Uh, is that or something? What is that? That's the, that's the. That's the one that stops in front of my crib and oh. fire. <laughs> Threw me under the bus. So and it wasn't warranted. No, it okay. wasn't. Right. What this young lady to my left, Doctor <sighs> Mars, Doctor Four. That's okay. my new name. <laughs> I'm leaning into it. It's, it's not a two, you know. Okay, I, I respect it. Yeah. So, Doctor Four, there was a clip that uh, has now gone viral on IG. Okay, pop it. And he, the caption says, "Ladies, are random men really this bad?" Question mark. Question mark. Share your worst pickup line from a man or a woman. Then it says, know your worth, ladies. Shutting down the ones who Sounds don't so measure up. So now, I didn't write this caption. You wrote that now, caption. Now. <laughs> it was a trash caption. It was gaslighting at its finest. <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you already know women do not really engage our page. Like women don't really make comments on the Instagram page. I, we know we've, we've looked I don't, at I it. I don't know that to be true. We... <laughs> Sorry. I look at the analytics. <laughs> we we know that women. Where you bitches at? <laughs> women women do not respond at the same rate as men on our Instagram. So asking women, oh, yeah. asking women that question, knowing it was a setup from the beginning, <laughs> right? So then you started. You ask a question uh, that uh, this is great. Wasn't really what her answer was. She kicked off the conversation. Ask me a question, right? And you edited out my answer. Well, your answer... My answer was what? What was my answer to her question? Your answer was cat. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, no. See, now you want to do it again. No, no, no. No, no. no. My, answer, my answer was what? 
So my answer was what? Was a true story. I don't. I don't know what your my, answer my was. answer was no. Let's yes, get no, let's get this no, straight. No, 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 let's what? get this straight. She sat here and she asked me, "Have you ever oh, your felt? Bumper, bro. Have you ever felt like a dude had the audacity?" Right? You did like, say look at, no. And I said, no. She did say no. You literally edited it to make it seem like I was co-signing. We were of two <laughs> different opinions. You threw me under the bus. Instead of editing it to say, all right, we got the women that feel like this and the women that don't, you took out my answer well, and then you put in a story that was unrelated. You threw me under the bus and you had all them dudes thinking that I was saying something that I wasn't. And that's weak. So, hmm. Okay. I would rebut. You got people calling me out of my name. You got people Fuck calling me them. fours. No, okay. it's, it's not, no. You say you you didn't you didn't give me no. You didn't you didn't put me in the caption like Kales is on this side, this side. You literally made it seem like I was on a side that I wasn't. Does the plaintiff rest her case right now? Maybe. Okay, defend so, Come on. Here's the thing. Don't shit me. Approach defendant. Come on. <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> Judgment, <laughs> Andrew res residing. <laughs> what you have to understand is. Here, let me just play the clip. So, so, so the people who didn't comment on this viral clip, you can hear it. All right, take a listen, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do this. Approached by a man that you got angry about because what gives you the audacity? Now, there's music playing in that, and I don't want to get, uh, um, you know, whatever flag, flag, right? But she said, so many words "Have you ever had a man approach you?" And I'm paraphrasing that you wonder, like, what gives you the audacity? What gives you the audacity, audacity to speak to me? And let me know or, so I could not do that shit again. Right. And then, and then, and then, after she says that, I said, okay, what's your worst pickup line that y'all have heard? And you responded about the guy throwing in the car and he blocked you in, and then you drove so, to the two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a lie. Then, hold on, one, one second. You rested your case one second. Left to talk he's lying. Okay. You, I got you. You, get your chance you drove to the police station. And then before that, same conversation, you said, yeah, baby, I'm going to give you your 40 acres and your mule. Did she, she didn't make that face though. I don't like that. That's how I object mind. that in face. My mind. In my mind. All right. That was the first one, right? Which one is it? It was the first. It was, what, what's the order it, of it? Oh, the, the 40 Acres of Mule was first. Oh, okay. she made the face now, nah, bro. You yeah. all, it's over. Okay. 40 Acres of Mule was first. <laughs> Why didn't that make it? Because I, that was my answer. Yeah, I didn't like it. This was also okay, your answer. Okay, so let's be clear. Let's be yeah, clear. Yeah, at the end do, of do you rest your case or no? No, no, I'm not okay. done. I'm not done. You took out my answer though. Order in the court of judgmental. You gave two answers to the same question. Did oh you God. not? No, I, I didn't. I'm gonna let Mitchell out in a minute. Y'all keep so, on. No, so, uh, you know what? How about how about you go to YouTube where it's not music and play it? Well, the, it, it happened in two different sections of the other other pod. Okay, so pause, pause there. It happened in two different sections. You I, took, I'm talking about you, the same thing. You took you took her question. You edited out my answer to that question and you brought in a response conversation from your question and you smushed it together. Smush. You didn't even tell people, Smush. slide over to the show and see what it is that these women really were saying. You threw me under the bus. I still disagree. That's fine. I still disagree. I'm, I'm uh, As somebody who edits and uh, makes captions, um, it was misleading, gaslighting, and you set me up. So what did you think about, what did you think about the responses you were hearing from the man in the comments, like what's the overall tone? Like what what vibes did that give um, you? What does it give you about men out here in society today? Hurt. Okay. Uh, I think that black men, uh, well, and I know it was it was a range of men, but uh, most of the icons I clicked on um, probably have so you been on the black men. Well, the the you know the ones that I responded to right. were, were were men. You were so nice too. We're black. I mean, because that's what it was. Don't let me stop you from do, with your answer. Right, like I, can, I can play without the music so they can hear it. If uh, you want, if you want. Oh, please, okay. please do. I asked a motherfucking question. I found it. I, I'm sorry, but this 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 happened. We'll get back to it in a second. Okay. Okay. For sure. Been approached by a man that you got angry about because what gives you the audacity to feel like you have a chance with me? Like you looked at yourself and you looked at me and you said, I can get that. Okay, Where, what, Guess. what did I give off so I don't give it again? Someone of your stature should never feel like you have a chance. What's the worst pickup line that someone you has? Edited my qu you edited my You edited it out. The worst shit that I've ever gotten was you just need That's to come not on home with me. I'm nah. This guy, he wanted to get me at the light, so he nah. got in front of me to do that. stop Cut that me. Off. And so uh, I actually started. No, 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 because you edited that. Play the what you, what go, go this would be a show about <laughs> another show. Go to YouTube, go to that point, and play what it is that I said immediately after her. You don't want to do that. So you, I keep telling you, when you take somebody's likeness and words and you edit it, you change the intention of what it is that they were saying and what they're talking about. Yes. I literally answered no. And then you made it seem like we were on the same page when we weren't.
it, and, 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 and it was yeah. a story. I'm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm it wasn't dude, story. man. Whatever. Uh, anytime you use my words, let's just put it out there. If I answer a question, you put the like, answer in it, or at least put like it that, in though. the caption. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, or I won't be in it. It's not fair. You don't set your people up like that. I didn't feel like I set you up. Okay, I'm telling you, you set me up. Man, set you up to do what though? Uh, you edited it to make it seem like I had an answer that I didn't, and that's not true. The I, hell, the entire like the I said no, and I said, oh, it was that homeless dude, and I said I didn't know he was homeless because I met him at the what? At the mall. At the you mall. have an un unnatural alliance to losers, and I said, well, I was kind of a you lady loser this myself. Shit you lost yes. sleep over this shit, huh? Yes, I did because <laughs> when, one because because I'm in the public eye. Right, like my face, I'm on stages. I'm right, I'm out here. So something that's all, all something that's different from who it is that I am, like that's not the energy that well, I brought well, to that conversation well, at all. Don't the people that you rock with in the crowd that we belong to have the responsibility to go and do their due diligence? Absolutely, and the editor has a responsibility to be diligent in making sure that the correct interpretation of the conversation is put forth. I also think, as and I, I'm not advocating either way, I also think that as, advocate as, as my a side. popular. <laughs> As a popular podcast in Chicago space, you wearing red, black, you on the left. Come on, my talk side. about it, bro. Talk about that shit. That we have, we have a responsibility to bring in as much attention as possible, as long as we aren't falsifying our information. Attention, not tension. Inaccuracy. Bar. That in, was a bar. In, in that was cute. In, inaccuracy, incorrect understanding, mm, leading, that's on them. leading. No, 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 no. Had okay. Had had I had the chance to look at it, it would have won probably been a cliffhanger. Right, like set dun, it up. Dun, dun, yeah, set set it up ass. to bring people to the show. The other is there's two women. She feels like this. There's another woman that doesn't. Right, right. Like so, we missed the opportunity to say which side are you on. You completely threw me under the bus to make it seem like Can I was I telling you, this story. I was, wait, 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 okay, so I was just telling the story about what is the worst pickup line, and that was part of your answer. And then she gave her answer. That was it. That was all. Okay, I'm telling you, that's not how you edited the clip. You kicked it off with her conversation, asking me a question. You asked me, you, I got asked two different questions. You took my answer from you and gave the question from her. That's not how I answered it. Well, it what was your answer from me? <sighs> you know what? Let's move on. Here's an uncomfortable truth, though, really quickly. An uncomfortable truth. Because you two were sitting together, there's a 90% chance, there's no data to back this up, 90% <laughs> chance that, that men... Would have lumped y'all in the same bag anyway. That's as fine. Toxic at as, least, as toxic at least, as they are out here, they would have dumped y'all in the same at bag least, anyway. At least I would have heard myself and had myself on that video saying no. Oh, this is a you thing. Yeah, okay. I, I would okay, have seen gotcha. myself saying, because we know that people uh, people are not going over to the show to see people that, that's, smart. That, that that's not what I'm saying. You hoes ain't smart. I'm talking about you dudes too. Man. Oh, I was hot. God, call me a street walker and call me out my name. Like, <laughs> fool, and, and, I li and, I, and, and I literally said no. Yeah, nah, that they, was they weak. Said, not just a street walker, a street walker off GTA. I don't even know what that video means. video game, Grand Theft Auto. The video I don't even game. know what that means. I oh, said, and, wait a and, minute. and Bobby Nuts. Yeah, I checked out your album. It was released in 2021. Okay. And she yeah. was trash? Oh, it's all right. It's all, all right. right. No, yeah. you trash, fam. Fuck you. Yeah, well, yeah, for, for calling Fuck me a you, whore. Fuck you, you trash. Oh. Your mama trash. You got kids, <laughs> they trash. If you got any business in there, it's probably trash. Your album is probably trash or double glass. Let's I start to look him. I, I like the beats, you know? He, the, uh, the album cover does remind me of, like, uh, No Limit when they first came out. Oh, my and God. Had, like, the graphics They had the it. worst <laughs> shit ever, though, man. And, hey, the album cover was like... Filling the paper, bro. They put and, no and money. You got, into, and you got an album every week. They put no money into producing uh, their little album, the uh, CD covers and cases, bro. Oh my god, it was, it was goofy. Hey, look, like I said in the, in the caption, we can move on. Look, my co-hosts are dope. Fuck what y'all think. I rule in it's favor really of something. her, bro. I don't give a fuck. This is my hater. That's judgment, Sandry. I'm judgmental. Send me uh, Mo Goods number, please. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So yeah, I guess that was Kale's week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Kels, I never thought you were on the bus. And I, I apologize if you feel that way. Well, that's not an apology. It is. Well, no, I, I apologize well, if you feel that way. What's, what's the truth, though? You know I do. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, is Amon needs to take Adobe editing classes. Adobe. A, <laughs> Adobe, my guy. Adobe, my, my Adobe is fire right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, need, I, need I need to sign an ethics clause 
for this podcast, any reel involving me, I got to look at the caption and I got to see how you edited me hey, in there because that wasn't right. I saw my clip. My dick got hurt. I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers is cutting me up. That's gross. I hey. don't give a fuck. Oh my god. I think y'all look good. Like, man. No, you didn't right. make me look good. I'm not even. I'm not even in the clip. Motherfuckers about too old. Too old for braids. <laughs> good I was for stupid. You. you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. This- you got me out here looking like a man hater. I do not. I, and I literally- okay, all right. So, so real conversation. I believe I'm not, I'm not mad at your point of view, right? And I respect Thank you, it, right? But I will say this, right? From where I'm sitting and how I'm viewing it, it was I thought that more <laughs> women would chime in and say, "Yeah, girl, I've had that same." It's experience. hard to bring women into that shit, bro. Women, I, 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 women, I that's women I did respond, and women were like, uh, "I'm way, I'm much more humble than that." You saw that as the theme. Why? Why is this true? Because especially in this city, you do not know. If you say something sideways or slick, if you're going to end up in an unsafe situation, you you be as polite as possible. Facts. You take the number. Yeah. You you do your best to get out the jam. And some dude was like, oh, you lying about going to the police. Yeah. I had a, I had a man actually tell me, if you no, ever bro. unsafe and you and you being followed, then yeah, move pull, yourself into a direction. Pull the blick out. Yeah. That, and, I, and I don't have one. What Damn. What am I going to pull out? My extra bra? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> distract him with my bra. <laughs> throw a titty in there, man. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> what you stop. What'd you say? Uh, we here today. But I didn't know I didn't know that men have un- unwanted advances from women also. You oh, know? yeah. Like, y'all man. end up with, like, true stalkers, too. Nah. No, I, I will say this. Y'all, guys, all right, man, y'all got to relax, bro. Like, there's no reason for y'all to just attack them like that. You go you crazy I mean? like that? Yeah, I mean, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, None of y'all yes, really it doing is because they're sort of internet. They can, the hide, internet. They can hide behind that yeah, shit. Yeah, and it's cool. It is what it is. Uh, everybody, people, people really kill themselves over that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Internet That's bullying, true. right? So sometimes she won't, though. not talking about me. All oh, right, yeah, make sure though. that doesn't make the edit. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. right. Tales right. on suicide watch. Right. Right. Like what? Damn. Yeah, be like That's don't exactly don't, something people think don't read the comments, man. Co-host on suicide watch. Right, right. With a beat, with a beat behind it. Nah, you man. See, you, you see, now you understand. No, I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> but the crazy behind. part is, out of all them comments, though, out of all them comments, that's just a small portion of men now because I, I know, you know, you know, <laughs> tons of good men that respect and appreciate and believe these stories women tell because they actually happen in spaces everywhere all the time. Yeah, I don't think that men like the uh, the uh, you have the audacity to think that you could talk to me. I think that's the part that really got them. That bothered them. Yeah, had that had that been a separate clip. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm talking about eye contact on had, sleep. What? Had it been a separate clip. What? <laughs> the uh, the worst pickup lines would have been completely like funny. Then men would have been like the comp, the the lines that don't. Nobody answered your question. <laughs> that is almost a fact. You feel me? That is true. That is Be- true. And why? Because the words didn't because match. Because men hate the, women. That's why. That, no, that's not true. That's not true. Not true the bro. what the words that you gave them is different from the words Be that true. you invited them yeah. to to respond Be to. True. Eight. Right, like had you separated it, like worst, worst, best pickup lines that you know, like that, that would have, that would have went worst hard. Best pickup lines, yeah. Or keep the conversation separate because it was two conversations and you smushed it together. You had a whole smushed. little polyamorous like conversation going on. It was great. Oh, you chewing it from the back? Oh, Absolutely. On oh, my mama, <laughs> on Jesus. Is there any I other way? That Black and <laughs> white Jesus. <laughs> I chew that motherfucker. So it's your life be different when she get up. Just chew it from the back. Alright, <laughs> so <laughs> chew it from the back. Oh yeah, if anybody has anything to say, we this did inspire. Uh yeah, we have a voicemail now. Yeah. Yeah, so call oh. us at uh 312-521-0650. Um <laughs> tell us what's on your mind. Tell 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 me that I am not a four. All right, or anything below. Drop, drop, it, drop, it. drop a topic. <laughs> no, cut some motherfucker. I, I want a care. different number now, bro. I want, I want one eight hundred. True from the back. <laughs> Chew it from the back. That's Chew, hot, it from the back. That's hot. Chew it from the back. Hey. Chew it from the back. Hey. Chew it from the back. Chew it from the back. They have to be that young. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yum 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move, control, <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on. I've upset my sister this week. I apologize. <laughs> uh, I guess it's her week. <laughs> if she feels that way, I apologize if she feels oh that way. Oh, my God. It's a horrible apology. It wasn't intentional, okay? It definitely was. Let's uh, let's go ahead and start here. <sighs> you know, this podcast is for Chicago, by Chicago, man. We like to highlight our tastemakers, our influencers, movies our movers and shakers, and, shakers. Um, and anybody or anything that's pertinent to the city of Chicago. And Six. then we kind of work our way out. Six and best. I saw complaints about the chosen few picnic <laughs> ticket price. Again. Um, I want y'all to think about this. They're charging what, 90, about 90, $85, whatever it is. 90, yeah. Uh, to get into the chosen few. Like the chosen few is cool. Uh, it's been, in my opinion. Dope for years. Dope for years, right? 
Um, and when they started charging, they got got away from a lot of riff raff and this that, and the third. <laughs> yep. Um, it's still a good time. You can you can bring you can bring your own food, bring your barbecue, bring your own bottles the whole night, hang out and have some good bring time. Bring your have trauma a good time. down there. Bring your trauma. <laughs> riff raff and house music don't even really go together. I but think. look, but look, ninety bucks. I guess what free does ninety bucks, and there is no uh, parking summer fest this year, right? You don't yeah. even have to double up on anything, right? <laughs> and if you don't have ninety bucks, then don't fucking come. They, I mean, but people sit on the periphery of it too and kick it. Periphery, right. I, get, I like that. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you couldn't just say perimeter. Oh no! no. Now he's telling you how to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, fam. Yeah, get it together, bro. Red pill ass. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> damn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, bro. I mean, you know what? People got to realize that post COVID, nothing's gonna be the same. Everything has done nothing but go up. Legs. Prices, what? you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything has went up, bro. Egos, audacity. Since audacity is at an all-time it's, it's high. went up, bro. Everything's went the fuck up. So look here. <laughs> you can't afford $90. Stay your ass in the house. Uh, or go to the periphery, like you said. Go to the periphery. Pick it. <laughs> See, put the $90 on a fifth of yak, a cooler, some ice, and some use, brew. And use them terrible a, a pickup lines. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you sip your bottles. <laughs> so, because think about it. This is why some people might be complaining, though. Because you, you go to the children's picnic, bro. You pay the $90. The police is scouring the area for anybody on that boot list. You getting tickets after tickets. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, and the boot man come out. They be out there. Boot let me be part. He be part laying out <laughs> that motherfucker partying, bro. Then you get there. I, don't, I never... First of all, if you a guy or a girl... And you are in a drought. The chosen few is the place for you. Because mm -mm. anybody that loves deep house music or house music is a bona fide, certified, guaranteed, 100% US RDA grade A freak, bro. <laughs> grade A freak, bro. <laughs> Think about it. Anybody you know love house, they love doing what? It's just a bounce to it. Oh my it's, a it's a bounce. It's a bounce. It's a bob. Was you bouncing bob it all the time? Number six. Oh that, that's my, oh that's my, my science dude. right there. <laughs> that's my science right there, goddammit. But, man, look here. Chicago got some of the dopest festivals you will ever see, man. In the city, that is everything to do all the fucking time. We never go to sleep. We never go to sleep. $90 <laughs> or holla. $90 is not bad. So it's, what, uh, 60 days between now and July 13th? About. I mean, I mean, how much you got to save a week? Uh, <laughs> right. You can do it. You yes, can do it. Like that's what, uh, that's, that's eight, eight weeks. Uh, eight dollars a week. Eight, yeah. You can do this. <laughs> like you got it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's ten, ten dollars a week. Don't get extra wings and ranch and wing stop. Yeah, you could put that. Yeah. You could put that to the side. But I think people are people are uh, kind of salty. One, uh, because this you can go there a week before for free, right? Like there's the um, monetizing of public areas. That people are like, well, it's the park, it's free, but you need security. You got to stop traffic. You have to put up, you know, uh, barriers. You got to build the stage. You got the sound the system. Axe. You got to pay for the acts and electricity. You know, festival water is not free. The air. Insurance. Air free no more. Yeah. Like it costs to party. So I'm not mad at anybody trying to make money in the city. And I'm sad to see other festivals go. And we should be we should be prepared to pay. You, you pay, fill in the blank though with, with Full Fest. Yeah, people. I mean, so people hit me up like about yeah. Full Fest. Like well, you need to tell people you're not ninety dollars. I'm like, but we might be one day. You know, like I'm, what I'm not gonna do is poverty pimp. Like, oh, since you can't afford that, come I'll do it for me. you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, covered. eventually, we we got to get used to like fundraisers, philanthropy, yeah. donating money, and and partying with a purpose. Um, I think it would help if people understood where the money went. Goals, you know, like because yeah. people, are, oh, I'm trying, I ain't trying to get nobody no. Well, it's a yep. production, and you want to go, so pay for it. So yeah. So, what are your thoughts on um, them shutting down Cinco de Mayo? I feel bad. They were like Loved uh, it. shots fired, Loved it. and they Loved had to cancel it. the parade. Yep. Yeah. Has that ever happened at the uh, at ours at the Bud Billiken? Nope. No, nope. not really. <laughs> I feel like they shoot at the end of it. Hey, <laughs> like they every, wait until the parade right. is over. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest, right? You've never been to the Bud Billiken? Uh, actually, I used to flip with uh, this motherfucking line. Just what? Like, this motherfucker like flipped Jesse the White burger Tumblr, patty man. over. You were Jesse White Tumbler. Yes. I need pictures, bro. I, I, need I, used, to, I used to go to Kosminski. I need you proof, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe proof. this. Dead proof. Ass. Proof. Round off, flip, flop, flip, flop. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> you had knees like Meg, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so. This mod said, round off, <laughs> round off, flip, flop. No, bro. Where I mean, that need to be a shirt. <laughs> Almost fell into a time machine, bro. <laughs> I was nice, man. Trying to tell you. <laughs> Your mama didn't want you at home. <laughs> Where did all that athleticism go, bro? What do you mean? It's what called, I, it's I called age. When you when you, happens. you get age out the game. That's it. <laughs> so you you raise you raise little man right now winning. Uh, shortly after seventh eighth grade. 
That's not a long career at all, man. They had your, they had your third, last third, third, jumping third, third, off the train bro. Oh, yeah, wow. Was, yeah. that's, what, that's what started your growth. <laughs> All that tipping your knees, bro. Wow. It's over with, bro. It's possible. Mama Sharon. That's a shame. Wow. I was nice, though. But anyway. Right. <laughs> uh, no, no. The, the single to Maya, look, look, look. I don't care. Like, I really don't care. Shut that motherfucker down. <laughs> if, if they are the acting stupid. Uh, no different than them shutting down the Puerto Rican parade in Humboldt. I don't give a fuck. Shut that bitch down for motherfucker that can't kick it the right way. You know what I'm saying? When you got the 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 gangs out there really running the police out, out that motherfucker. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I like, gotta go home. Yeah, like, all right, cool. <laughs> Y'all got it. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, have at it. Mm-hmm. it it's, it's, it's a shame that people can't come out and celebrate the heritage. Enjoy. I, 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 do, I do really get that. Um, but at the end of the day, your people, our guys, my cousins, we gotta get these streets back. And I don't know how we do that. Yeah, it's I mean, I, I, this summer's gonna be wild because what happens if that happens at Lala? They gonna shut Lala down? I don't think what happens. It ain't gonna happen at Lala. Too many resources, too many resources will be allocated to make sure that Riot Fest, Lot of Palooza will be safe. Hmm. Usually, parades like Cinco de Mayo, they govern themselves, they police themselves because oh, yeah. people are proud of their, of their the heritage and foundation, out, yeah. you know. But let me tell you something. I was happy to shut that bitch down. I may sound like a fucking hater, but I don't give a fuck. I was happy to shut Puerto Rican Fest down from seven days to three days. I worked Puerto Rican Fest for 19 years. The seven day fest down to the three, three or four day fest, bro. That shit was chaos. Every single day it was up and open and never made the news. This bad behavior has been going on forever. Cinco de Mayo parade. That shit happened like that every fucking year. Now, there are cameras everywhere. You can't fucking avoid it. Oh, shot spotter. Right. This may be, <laughs> which we definitely fucking need. This may be the worst it's been, but it happens every year. Just don't make the news. Somehow, some way, the group leaders in the community are able to keep motherfuckers out, out the way and tell, you know, the ladies, the kids, the family, the, the group, the, orient, the family-oriented families uh, enjoy it and are gone. Then they get to their bullshit, bro. They, it was a, a, a time last year what where in the 10th district, they said, hey, if you get the cards also on these certain blocks, don't go by yourself because they don't give a fuck about you. They'll shoot your shit up. This has been happening. So yeah, it was wild now last it's on the year, news. wasn't it? The same way they spot us, the same way they highlight our communities, I'm glad the spotlight's now on their communities. You got so loud on that. Yep, equity. <laughs> Diversity, equity, inclusion in the news. <laughs> oh, let me uh, let me also give an, give an update. I don't know why I got so loud. <laughs> um, <laughs> your, fa- your favorite podcast is linked up with Moore's Beer. Come on now. And this year we will be at the Emancipation Ball Emancipation. 2024, Come Chicago's premier Juneteenth event. Um, it will be held, let me let me just, Tuesday, June 18th at Rockwell on the River, 3057 North Rockwell. Uh, where... That's my district, bro. Yeah, yeah. That place is beautiful, dog. It's nice. That place is beautiful. 7 to 11 p.m. Love, life, and liberation. <laughs> that's, that's what it say. Yes, and they we will we will, be, we will be there. So uh, excited! Grab your tickets; they will sell out at emancipationball.com Y'all go ahead and get that. Freedom, freedom. Um, a, a good time in a safe space, a beautiful safe space. It's ample parking around people, it too. Great this, vendors. This isn't a party. This is a fundraiser, right? Because Moore's beer is about the community, and all proceeds are going to their foundation. Yes, yes, yes. Super excited. Y'all know what y'all wearing? Yeah, I, I ain't some tight no ass pants. Tie. A tight, some tight pants, a tight ass shirt. I'm coming looking cute. So I'm, I'm coming there with a corner combo Braids hoodie. Fresh. Hello. <laughs> Fuck you, man. New, hey, man, look here. I've been getting you know hit about that Chi-Town Strong a lot, bro. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's time. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's, it's shout out to Jamal and the whole team over there. Um, and, and shout out to Kells. You know what I'm saying? Uh, always always on the ground, bro. Always on the ground. Always working. Oh, always on the ground. Yeah. Oh, do you say the ground? Yeah. Because you run me over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for lifting me up, cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, well, you know what? You hey, be- she got borrowed today, bro. Do-do-do-do. A sister, you being my sister, is better and bigger than the cousin. Right? <laughs> wow. A cousin doesn't count. Damn. Cousin doesn't count. Cousin doesn't count. Right? You can have a favorite cousin, but grow up. You're going to have, some, you gonna have somebody in his DM saying, like, hey, that's what he said. Your cousin don't count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey. So it's Mother's Day this weekend. It is Mother's Day this weekend. Is it? It- Y'all know it it's is. Mother's oh. Day. And, you know, and you know, I. What, we, what did we, Jesus do for Mother's Day, bro? He really got no mama. We've talked about this for decades, man. <laughs> they know. start pubbing Mother's Day in fucking Christmas. January. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I'm not saying it's you guys don't deserve your flowers, <laughs> but enough is enough. <laughs> right? <laughs> enough is enough. I'm so exasperated. <laughs> You yeah. got a lot of mothers in your life. You, you got get, your mama, you get, your yeah. your wife, or your baby mama. Your baby or maybe mama, you got both. You got a wife. Know. Your sugar mama. Yeah, yeah. And do Bahama you Bahama mama? <laughs> yeah. Somebody else's mama you hit from the back. What do you get your sugar mama for? Uh, do you get her anything for Mother's Day? Some dick. Oh. Some more dick. <laughs> 
Basically, more dicks. You can give you some more gifts. <laughs> the end. So toxic. That's how it works, bro. <laughs> the end. The That's end. so toxic. But there, there, there was a link about the worst gifts to give a mother. Any, okay, any mother. All right, so any uh, diet or fitness products. Damn, it's called reality hidden. <laughs> Do not, don't get your, don't get the mom sad. So no uh, gym memberships either. Is it a nice gym with a spa? I take it. I'll allow it. Okay, I'll allow it. So um, you can't get this ten dollars a month at uh, Planet, Planet Fitness. Fitness? If, if you give somebody a gym membership, what you what you really telling them though? <laughs> I would I wouldn't mind an upgrade to my it's current gift gym that membership. Keeps on giving. If it were like an upgrade and I get like uh, steam treatments, like yeah, I'll take that. Okay, Planet Fitness right. got that. I forget. Cool. Planet okay, anyway. uh, wrinkle cream. Damn. Roses. Really? <laughs> roses, roses, roses are necessary. Ro- no, they say roses are Valentine's Day. And that's it, a good point. <laughs> look at your face. Like, that's a good Valentine's point. Valentine's Day is not a real day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. Though, man. Okay. A new, and a roses new, stink. A new pet. I'm the only dog. I'm the only dog she need. Oh my god. The fuck? Cleaning equipment. <laughs> Damn. This man's a misogynist. Don't ruin her day by telling her she's uh, great at cleaning and should do more of it. Fuck. <laughs> Potpourri. Why not? Who don't want their crib to smell good? I mean, unless you know, like, what smell? <laughs> is this what's in your? <laughs> That's on your list. I'm definitely, I'm definitely on the corner of Madison and Larry with them white baskets <laughs> out the back of that truck. That's what's in that potpourri. Oh my god! Uh, things that remind her of her mother. That's an interesting one. I don't know about that one. Shower caps, moo's, flowery bathrobes. Moo's are sexy though. <laughs> Girl, lift that shit up. Let don't me go and get to that. Ever? No, no. A self help book. Don't do that either. I'll take that though. Like, especially if it's one that's, like, really popular. I'll take it. Well, you're not materialistic like a lot of women, though, so. Whatever, whatever you got me for Father's Day is what you get for Mother's Day. So what, about, what about why? Keep, nothing on the list. Keep that don't same nothing. Oh, well, you know. I, yeah. I don't know. Or, or if it's not your mother, right? Do if, if it's your wife, do you get your wife a Mother's Day gift? Is she a mother? She is a mother, but she's not your mother. What are we doing here, bro? Just ask. Is she the mother of your child? If no. you if you want to argue, then don't get her a gift. You want peace in your crib? <laughs> Get her gift. If she's a godmother, you probably should get her something. You know, like hell something. no, godmothers get nothing. Oh, that's what about what? the hood? What about the hood mama? The mom, the, the, there was a, she was a mom to all the hood babies. You know yeah, what I'm saying? The block, the block mom. Yeah, yeah, the block yeah. come through. She definitely should get something though. How, Collectively, how how about church mothers? Absolutely not. They, they still. Have to- <laughs> <laughs> they don't. <laughs> no. Negative. The mother of the mothers, the mother boy. She's the only gift she need. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord, the, top. the only gift she need. And they said also an empty photo frame. Yeah, that's probably the best one on the list. That's a picture of you and me. An empty photo frame. <laughs> Come on, baby. This is about us. So we oh think. Oh, my God. I was thinking to myself, like, okay, wow. Don't get her nothing. Don't get her the same thing you've always been getting her. Or if you want to make it simple, man, just get her whatever. You, ask her what she want. What the fuck do you want? My mom, <laughs> my baby mom, or my wife, if you a mom, you know. Who what the fuck the, do you want? I'm going to buy that for you. Shut the fuck up. Who gets the better gift if you got a lady and you have a child's mother? That you're not with. That you're not with. Child's mother gets zero. Fuck you mean. What? Negative. I'm not with you. I don't know you anymore. We're co-parenting. <laughs> this, 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 this is bitch y'all coming from over there. You get nothing. This is hate. Nothing. Nothing? What? That's what a man said has a bad relationship with his child's mom. For what? I've gotten three Mother's Day gifts in my life. That's my uh, my, fir- my first Mother's Day. He he came he came home and was like, "Oh, did you expect something?" I was like, "I just pushed the baby out." 40, 40, you know, I, that 40, was that was the moment I was like, "Don't have any have nothing but gratitude, not expectations." It was rude. It was hurtful. Um, I didn't do that to them or to him. Um, and then the, the second Mother's Day gift I got, I'm laying in the bed, and he comes in and has his Walmart bag and was like, "I know you're not gonna want it or like it, so you might as well just give it back." And with it the was, receipt, yeah, the it bag. was it was a foot bath. It was a foot bath. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. I kept it. And so, uh, but I had my homegirl, Mo Good, uh, comedian, calling in to talk about her show. Um, I didn't get my answer. Uh, okay. Bad Moms of Comedy. Mo Good, what's popping, baby? What's going on, man? How you feeling? Feeling good. Wait, hold on. Let's get your audio right. Yeah, yeah, you good. We can hear you. Oh, I can't hear. You can hear me? Oh, there we go. There we go. What up, Mo? You can't hear me? What's up? What's, What's up? I've been trying to get you on the show forever. Thank you so much for uh, taking a little bit of time. Uh, so Mo is a creative woman from the crib. She's a mom and she has a show this weekend. I wanted you to talk a little bit about what you got going on and tell the people where they could find you. Yeah, I see you all on TV and shit. You got to relax. <laughs> right, right, right. You got to relax out uh, here. Yeah. I see what's going on. Uh, uh, yeah, big TV, big moves. Come on now. <laughs> um, I, you this weekend, I'm going to be at uh, Zany's Rosemont and Zany's in Old Town in Chicago with the Bad Minds of Comedy. We are um, yeah, we're just doing our, our Mother's Day shows. And then the next day, that Monday, we're doing like a 
a mommy hangover show because you know we don't know how your weekend went with them kids. <laughs> so <laughs> team fuck them we are kids. doing a Monday show. Yeah. Well, I can't say fuck them kids because my kids come with like uh Medicaid. So um <laughs> The health insurance, so like I'll never say that. As long as they got benefits, I'm cool. <laughs> they good with you. <laughs> yeah, they good. Like it's until they really start big, and then I'm Mess. like, yeah, fuck them. Who else on the show with you, Mo? Um, um, comedian. Uh, her name is Avril, and uh, Orly G. She's actually like the producer of the show. She does like PR stuff like that. Um, so dope. And then uh, the lineup always changes with like each show. We'll have, they'll showcase different moms. Um, just from all walks of life, and it's just you know, just like I said, just some good comedic relief right. for the weekend. The I know I need to laugh. Out. All right, we so more, 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 this is A M O N, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, A M O N, yeah, yeah Amon, it's a short A, okay? <laughs> and uh, a short man, and a short man, <laughs> <All> right? <laughs> right, disrespectful as hell. Right, so look, look, I got, I got a question. Right, what so, is a terrible Mother's Day gift? To receive, um, any kind of cookware. Because who told you I wanted to cook? So, <laughs> um, I don't. You know what? I think as long as it's thoughtful, you know, you can really accept anything. But don't buy me no pots and pans. Don't buy me nothing for the kitchen. Don't buy me nothing for deep. You know, decor. I don't want to. I don't want to do nothing that involves mom. Just buy no me no homemaking liquor. shit. <laughs> Like be real, buy me some Ciroc and, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, and let's just do that because I don't, I don't know. I don't I know. My it. kids are still young, so I don't be getting shit. I don't know. Oh well, you you still ain't gonna get shit. Be, let's be clear. <laughs> <laughs> no, not my sons. My sons don't play about me. Don't do that. Hey, by the time they get a job and they realize I can just go get a card for five dollars and some roses for twenty. That's all you're going to get. It's over with a rap, huh? I'm to tell you. <laughs> a rap. I, you're a horrible son. That's, that's what that. you get in your mama, huh? Well, no, I, I ordered my nah. mama something on Amazon, and it's supposed to came today, and they tell me it, it's, it's outside on your porch. I think I ain't got no porch. <laughs> so, <laughs> mom's going to be mad about Mother's Day. She's going to be like, you ain't get me shit. No, I did. Amazon ran off on the plug, baby. I don't know what <laughs> Mo, you wow. So, Mo, we gonna wrap it up. Can you uh, let people know how, to, how they can find you on social media, any of your other shows you got going on after Mother's Day so we can show you some love? Okay. You can find me on all social media at Mo Good Comedy. That's M-O-G-O-O-D Comedy. And I'm headlining Zanies June 17th. And it is a Monday. It's a Mo Good Monday, the best kind of Monday. Talk about it. June 17th, I am headlining Zanies. I'm doing one hour. It's my first time headlining at that comedy club. Um, I want people to come out, enjoy themselves. We gonna have a cool ass Monday, a mo good Monday, like I said. I have comedian Famo hosting and uh, comedian Erica Nicole Clark featuring for me. It's gonna be a dope ass show. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. T daughter, out. yeah, she funny as shit. No, 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 no
Who gets the better gift? The wife or the baby mama? Uh-huh. Bro, they, who, got, they, who got it the best? I wasn't really asking you a question, though. That was rhetorical. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> it, 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 re- rhetorical, sir. Sir, rhetorical, sir. Rhetorical. I'm just saying. Re- sir, rhetorical. <laughs> sir, that's rhetorical, sir. There's no world sir, that that's I rhetorical, live in. Sir, that's rhetorical, sir. There's no, I'm just saying. <laughs> for, all my, for all my guys out here that have a baby mama and have moved on, got married, fiance, girlfriend, living, You ain't baby mama not beefing. Y'all not enemies. Y'all all good. There's no world I live in where- He's trying to protect himself. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. Look, you. Yep, you try. You gonna put him under. He gonna throw you under the That's bus. Fine. You gonna, I don't care. He gonna, he gonna clip, I love it. He gonna I'm hold that bitch like that. Heart. <laughs> okay. The the thoughts and words that are being spoken right now are of Amon by Amon. Only. There's no world I live in where my baby mama gets a Mother's Day gift from you, huh? from me, and or a birthday. What is spectacular gift? mother no. though? I don't give a fuck. That's, that, what you're that's very to be. under. Whoa! You're supposed to be a spectacular mother. You're supposed to be a spectacular father. Let me see. How oh. do I feel not getting a gift or recognition, knowing that I'm a good mom? Um, <clears throat> sometimes, well, like in the past, it's been hurtful, right? Because I'm like, man, I've held this family down in your absence when you were absent on purpose. That you, you know, I've I've taken care of your kids. They're well mannered. Fed these raggedy motherfuckers. You know, they're 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 Wash on point. And to not have the person that I made them with say anything to me made me feel like, oh, okay, it, it, it changed how I felt about Mother's Day. Because that means that they don't have anybody in their lives that can also teach them to say thank you, right? Like, he, right. he, he didn't even do that part where it was like, okay, let's get mom something. You know, what, what do you want to do for mom? It's about them. Like, Father's Day, so I kept that same energy. You sure? I, As you should. Sure. You, you know? Sure. Uh, but... If they want to do something and they come and say, mom, can I have some? I'm not going to tell them no. no, you know, so that's the that's that's how I took. And then I started planting Mother's Day like uh, their godfather. I would say, hey, here's two hundred dollars. Take my kids out to get me something because it became very hurtful that I wasn't getting anything on Mother's Day. And the worst gift I got, the worst from the kids was a brunch that I told them I didn't want. They got <laughs> Damn. they got somebody to take them grocery shopping. OK. They cooked for, and they invited people to my house. They ate. They left me with their guests. They went to sleep and didn't clean up for a week. It's called fuck them kids. I was so livid. My kitchen was destroyed. The food was good. But I told them, I said, the one thing I want for Mother's Day is no fighting. I don't want any fighting, no arguments. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. They decided to cook and destroy my kitchen. Everything else. Well, yeah, and so it took a week for me to kind of like say- You left the kitchen unclean for a week is trash. Who, me? Yeah. Man, whatever. <laughs> okay. Let's call, let's call uh, a spade a spade. Okay, now I see why your see, baby mom don't like you. I only I, speak- I don't give a fuck. I only speak the way I speak because I think BM and BD, baby, baby mama, baby daddy got a, got a stigma attached to it unfairly, bro, because all baby daddies and baby mamas ain't trash, bro. All, all right. of us, I'm a baby daddy. All of us, you know, uh, aren't, no good, deadbeat, yeah. don't contribute to the financially or to the kid's life. Some of us do what the fuck you're supposed to do because well, we had examples or because it's the right thing to do, you know what I'm saying? But for those of you that don't, fuck y'all, I mean. I love, and I love dating dads, you know, like one of the, one of the things. Well, your dad's going to be lit right no, now. No, I'm saying, like, I, I, I don't, uh, you know how some women like, I don't want to date a man with kids, right? Even like, the ones, ones you got kids with. <laughs> like, damn. We don't want you either. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, but I think, uh, I think one of the things that I like is watching a man be a father because I don't get to see that. Turns you on? Um, it, it, it helps me learn what I'm attracted to and what I want. Consistency, gotcha. being present, family oriented, um, it makes sense. doing everything you can do for your children. You put yourself last, right? Like those, those, those are, those are traits that I also needed to learn. I think being a, being a mother, uh, or being a parent and I didn't have such a good example, you know, like a peer mentor. So I think when you have two parents that are on point, they help each other level up and become better versions of themselves. And so I knew, like, once I was single, like, man, like, if I'm out here and I don't have anybody to not check me, but really help me uh, learn how to, like, be a better parent and be, be present. Out here, huh? Yeah, like, I need, I, need, I need to be leveled up. So Look, I appreciate a good If a good you have father. a good working co-parenting relationship with the other parent. Don't backtrack now, bro. Great. This not going to make it to the edit. Great. <laughs> right. Send a text. Happy Father's Day. Damn. Shit. I, got, I don't want your text. You're not getting no gift. You know no what? way. The next time you ask no for way. some bread, you ain't getting shit. So, okay, how about this? Respect if your if your if your wife decides for all of the mothers in your life, she wants to do something. Are you okay with that? How I many mothers I got? The hood mama, the church. No, I'm saying like even your baby mama. mama. Like if she says yeah, like this, them. you know what I mean? Between like them. if is is that something you will be okay with? Like this not from you, this from your wife. 
Like if your wife did like for your sisters, your aunties, and the child's mother, is that something that you would support? You'd be like, nah, I'm not, we not giving her nothing. Zero. <laughs> Why would you put your nose in that business though? Yeah. Zero. Why would you put your nose in that business? I said though? what I said. Zero. Mm. <laughs> Yo, can your kid get her something? Yeah, for sure. Why he paused though? <laughs> this man got control issues. <laughs> no, I have to think about it. No, all I'm saying What's is. What's wrong with love? What's wrong with showing love? No, no, I show love over I, hate, bro. I do show love, but right. there's, love over hate, bro. <laughs> there, 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 there's, there's no world that I live in where I'm getting the baby mama. But it's not you though. Like if it's your this, mom and she, your mom wants to give, you know, her ne- grandmother's her negative. grandchild. Hey, Joe, negative. Get therapy for that issue in your life, bro. Negative. For that spot right there. Negative. Go get some motherfucking <laughs> get some fabulous and negative. wipe that shit off. And and I'm I'm okay with polish. her not doing nothing for me. Cool. Great. If she, okay, if she did do something for you, would you reject it and send it back? The motherfucker, no, not to do nothing for me. Oh, that's what not what I about? asked. Get, is get, it, answer the question. Yeah, yeah. Get that shit out of here. So you uh-huh. wouldn't take it. No. Okay. No. Cool. What if her husband said, hey, here you go. I take all freebies, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. All right, man. Let's, <laughs> let's move on. If you let's think I think I can be a good father in the future and we ain't got kids together, give me a gift anyway. <laughs> you know, fuck. I take all freebies. Just leave a purse open next to me. I get my gift out of that. Oh, no. <laughs> get my you, gift out of that shit. Do y'all want to branch out to your favorite team, New England Patriots, and this roast of Tom Brady? Oh, it was painful to watch a little bit. I loved it. It was crazy. White on white violence was beautiful. Um, I, it, I was so uncomfortable. In comic, I was, I was covering my eyes on some parts. So my, my thoughts are this, right? I looked at that and I said, okay, this is what happens in the comments. You're just live and in person and there's no filter. Yep. That's what a roast is. I love that, right? I, don't but, make that analogy. But. It's, it's close. But, don't point to me when you say comments. Oh, you. I'm sensitive <laughs> to that. <laughs> um, did I think motherfuckers went too far? No. Right? Because it's their interpretation of what happened Fair in game. their life, right? And you signed up for this. So whatever happens, happens. Who went too far? Or who who was, who was like... People had a bad taste in their mouth about uh, his marriage. They were talking about Giselle. People were like, oh my God, how did Giselle get... I'm <laughs> oh. like, bro, shut the fuck up. Oh, and- it's, hard, it's hard to make somebody that as bland and born as Tom Brady funny. I didn't know These he was that symmetrical. <laughs> he is. He, he is. This is a Ken doll. Like, <laughs> he is, though. <laughs> how was, I thought he would look older than that. I think on a symmetric scale of 1 to 10, I think they had it ranked at a 9.87. Yeah, I'm like, he is, damn. He's very... And so the, and the reason... So I say that instead of attractive because people think like, oh, like... fine. But some... Yeah, uh, there's evidence that shows the more symmetry you have in your yep. face, the more attractive you are to other I'm people. I'm ugly as hell, bro. It's over with. <laughs> right, one of my eyes is... <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I swear to God. I'm I using my eye makeup yeah. to like balance up my eyes. Yeah. yeah y'all, say, stop playing me, boy. Yeah, y'all cousins. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. You not symmetrical, dog. Shit. I wonder, could we do like the symmetry, like see how uh, symmetrical our face is? It's like, a way to do that. Yeah. I think I came in like a 7.9 or 8, bro. I'm like, what yeah, I look fucked is? up. I'm too different people. <laughs> what if I was a four? <laughs> <laughs> Well, according to the comments, according to the comments. <laughs> so they went crazy, bro. I'm looking like, nah, there's no way y'all should have this many jokes loaded up about women you don't fucking know. To your point, this means y'all have a, a certain disdain and you're flowing through your veins for women in the first place. Even I mean, women, go ahead. men get roasted all the time. <laughs> like we, we, uh, women, women will give you that work. <laughs> we are in not, your face. We, yeah. So in I so 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 I not get the it. Comments. When when you have when you have women who you think are also dissing you, I didn't I got it. But also again, I'm like, oh, I'm glad I ain't wear no weave that day. <laughs> they, was, they, was on, Asia, they was on your wig. They was, they was on it, and I'm like, you can't really say too much about somebody my, said, like, What do you feed it? I say, damn. <laughs> when, is it, when is it gonna walk I away? I one. say, damn. I, just, I didn't see that one. You know, hey, like, man, shout out to Asia for getting getting out there. She had time that day, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but no, I'll say this, right? <laughs> they did boo Kim Kardashian. Why? That they took out. They took out uh, the, uh, the actual Netflix. They, they were streaming it live, though, right? But when they replayed yeah. it, oh, her mama's not having that. Yeah, they took it out. Y'all better get the fuck they, out of here. They booed her for like 11 seconds. I don't. I have no idea why. I won't boo you, Kim. Um, I mean, look, man. Oh, they got on Chelsea, Chelsea Handler. They were like, oh, we were going to sit uh, somebody black next to you, but we'll know that you'll sleep with them. Damn. <laughs> they got on Chelsea. That's crazy. If you sit in the front row to roast, you got to know. You are you are scheduled to get work. Hey, Kevin. Any comedy show. Kevin, Mr. Hart. That was funny, though. Kevin? He say, man. That was funny, bro. I'm sorry. L- let's hear it, Kevin. Sometimes you, you don't always have to be the token black guy. Huh? Talk about it. Right? You think it was a token? Yeah. All right. So now you, you think about all the comics that were there. 
How many were black? What Do it matter? Mean? So, how many actually socialize at that level, right? Black comics. How many can really get in these rooms? That's not his fault. Oh, no. Hold on. Okay. I felt like watch, when, when watching that, you go get the black guy that is most commercial and that most, most, palatable. most palatable and that most white people are comfortable with, right? They didn't go get Hannibal Burris. Why? He not He's not funny. a comedian. No, I'm, I'm just throwing names. Really I'm just throwing names out there, right? Jamie Foxx would have been, could have did the same thing, right? Jamie Foxx got stank on his name. He's a clone. The clone's out here now, not real Jamie. Eddie Murphy could have did the same thing. Are we thing, still right? on the clone? He, he's definitely a clone still. <laughs> Eddie Murphy, why would Eddie Murphy do that? Well, unless he's been funny to you. Who? Eddie Murphy. Oh, shit. Life. Yeah, 2000, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you might as well put him in the grave. No, but I, I just, I, I, and I'm not. I guess Martin, because Martin, Martin's about to go on tour. He's going to get Martin's going to die. Yeah, 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 man, he Martin, looks Martin, bad, yeah. bro. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to it. Y'all too. keep bad boy four, too, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't need no more bad anything, motherfucker. Martin, you're about 50 pounds overweight. Will, you just not trying to recover from slapping Chris Rock on stage. <laughs> Why the fuck you need bad boys for? Y'all said bad boys ride and die the last movie. You been on the red table crying wheel, bro. Stop, knock this shit off, dog. When is enough enough for these motherfuckers, Joe? Oh, does Go. this count as our red table? You, put, you try to put fresh, fresh prints together with Martin. It's not gonna fucking work, bro. It worked for the first movie. Cool. A, a straight 10. Part two. A 10. Part three, bro. Come on. Now you, you had sex. You, you hit a witch raw. You raw dog the witch and had a baby. And that book they sell drugs over there. But what are we doing? This is a video game. This is a fucking video game <laughs> we play, bro. Where the witch come it's, from? It's guns and bitches and dope. Everywhere. It's GTA. I thought, it's, it's, it's I thought it was GTA. GTA. Red the auto. Oh. Yeah. Red the auto. That's what they call the streetwalker from GTA. It's fucked up, though. Uh, <laughs> so, Street we don't Walker. need another. Let this be the last one on four now. Hey. Bad boy four be the last. Let it be the last one. We don't want hey. no more of this shit. Hey, no I'm more of this shit. I was go so petty. On, go on to Eiffel Tower. Go on to Eiffel Tower, Will. I Martin, was... go take your medication. <laughs> For real. I was so petty. I reported I reported his comment. I was Damn. so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was, what's what's his name? What's his name? Between Giggle you Monster this shit. and being called a GT, because I didn't know what GTA was at all. <laughs> hey, hey man, I reported ass. that so fast. <laughs> I was like, bullying. Nope. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. And we don't, we don't bully foot the whole one fucking combo, man. <laughs> hey, man, you gonna come back up with no comments. <laughs> bully, 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 bully. Hey, man, if I can hit it, I'm gonna get it. But some commenters like that shit, though. It likes striking oh the nerve. Oh, they delete my shit. I'm coming back next time. Oh. Harder. I mean, it's cool, man. Would, let me ask you. Oh. Would, no would bad you, boys for. Would you sign up for a roast, either one of y'all? Absolutely not. My, my, look here. I have a side of cousins called the Wards and an older version of them called the Thompsons. They talk about you from your one month old to your casket, bro. Yeah, y'all, y'all ain't shit. I hate y'all. Bro, it's, it's an everyday roast. You got to have very thick skin. They just told my cousin Super Reggie. Thick. First of all, my cousin Reggie floods, right? It's fine. He's gotten better now. I appreciate him for that, though. But- <laughs> Everybody said Reggie had a big booty. They saw his man officer tip drill. <laughs> like, bro, no, how do you, you how do you walk wake, wake up with that and walk around with that? Your family gonna be the worst roasters ever. Fuck a roast by anybody I don't know. Y'all, y'all don't shit to me. <laughs> My blood got to every July at the family picnic. You walk up to the park, they roast you, your car, your family, your bank account, your cigar selection, the shoes you got on, they, they roast you. Yeah, nothing's off limits. That's why I'm nothing. Focused on. That's why I'm nothing. Focused on. And it's all right. love, though. Not yeah. officer tip drill. Officer, bro, that's wild. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, you know, um, I don't know. They've been, they've been doing this roast shit. Why would anybody sign up to just let a motherfucker just oh, I cook have, your ass? I have roasted Michi before. Like, Michi had a roast. Um, and, oh, it was painful. Mm-mm-mm. It was painful. They got they they, they got a roast. Uh, you know, yeah. I had Michi call in and roast you. <laughs> he definitely roast you. Uh, you know, size yoga. I'm not. Real time. I'm not. Yoga. Same, I'm not same on the, too. No one. No one cares about my for roasting me. You know what I'm saying? Oh I, my who god. Gives, who gives the jokes fuck? were fun. The, some of the jokes were funny. I will say, like Kevin Kevin and Hart's jokes, like um, it was. I don't really. I don't really say the n word. Um, and it it coming out, and I'm watching it and laughing, and I'm like, okay, I I know it's not that, but I don't know. It just. It sounded it different. It landed it, the way it lands. Yeah, it, it was. It was just like, you I, know. I mean, but if a motherfucker gonna talk about you, whether they, they talk about you in a in a private or in in on on the internet, right? Fuck it. Put me in a room. And everybody get this shit off, right? Fuck it. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, no diddy, oh, no diddy, no diddy, right? <laughs> Too late. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But fuck hey, it. If, if I'm gonna sign up Freaky for it, boy. I'm okay with it. I don't know if I would because, again. You gotta have really thick skin, and you up there for an hour and a half hour. I feel like I gotta pee. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta run out, run out bad boy, huh? If you're not over any of that shit, that shit gonna hit different. So here's my other question. How how are roasts like uh written for? Is there a team of writers that write everybody's jokes and then you practice it? Because I can't I can't imagine me just coming up with like something I'm I'm Or they give you source funny. material to pull from, maybe. Yeah, but that's a lot. Like I don't know if I can like be funny. You know what I mean? Mm, like yeah. so I, I so I wonder if there were black writers. I don't know. It's a, it's a whole production. Oh. Like you can't. This was not unscripted. Right. Not Tom, unscripted. Tom said that he didn't know what they were going to say. Yeah. Well, you, you've lived your life. Symmetrical. They got options. Yeah. Right. So this these things have been reported on. It's not like it's just unfounded news. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But coming from and, your friends, and it's, and it's well, are they friends? Or are they well, just friends and passing because they have millions of dollars? There's that. Who was the dude that he put out of uh, work? <laughs> the one when he when he got drafted. He lost Drew his Bledsoe. job. Bledsoe. Yeah. He was he was on there. Uh, that Bledsoe. was that was kind of funny. One of my favorite um, quarterbacks. Yeah, I, I had I had a I didn't watch it all the way through because right. then I went over to Cat Williams woke folk. I missed mid I mid as fuck. I feel like he talked in a high voice the whole time. Mid Sorry, as fuck. That was mid. That was mid as well. Is this coming off of how fire he was on Shannon? Yes. Is it why it's mid? Yes. So was it really mid? Yes, I'm a, I'm a but tell he you wasn't why. performing on Shannon, was he? Like that was that was, was him doing an interview. I think it was that comic. Was I think it was comedic genius on Shannon. I don't think they knew that that interview would was be do what it awarded do. at Webby for the best uh, YouTube interview. Like Webby's like the rapper. I n d e p e. I can't spell this anymore. Yeah, do you know what that is? So he got you know he got he got that award right. I think it total did seventy five million or sixty eight million, whatever it was. I don't think that they knew that that interview was going to do that. I think once that interview did that and it took off like wildfire, I think he said, "Okay, my price just went up. Good. I can I can go get a special on Netflix now." But he right? has multiple specials on Netflix. He, he's at, but maybe maybe he's been trying to get a new one, right? And okay, hey, guess what? Y'all ain't been trying to give me one. You got to give me one now, and this is my price. I get it. Love it. Yeah, like six specials though. <clears throat> No, he got twelve. He has the most specials of well, all. Yeah, time. so I can't. I can't. Thirteen now. I, I, I can't. I can't see him like, like politic and like. Now you got to give me another one. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that was probably already in the works. Like him, him doing more on Netflix could have been. Could have. Could also been. Hey, look, I'm hot now. I need this now rather than a year from now. Yeah, I mean, uh, so they say that he got. Uh, there were more views on the lot because it was a live stream, right? Which I think Netflix is trying to figure out, like, how do we get Hulu out of our this? pocket? Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. And all of all of these streaming. So I think that was brilliant. Like you could watch it live and then you could watch it, uh watch it back. Um I didn't make it through that one either, because uh How long was the stand up? Hour? Over a little bit over an hour. Uh so what I do like is that he incorporated a screen. Okay. So uh like if we had this TV going and it would we could actually look at a meme or uh, image and then he used that as a part of his so, stand up. Yeah, yeah. I've, I, I've done that before. Y'all didn't like why, it. So. No, we liked it. We just love looking at your uh, Text messages. messages. <laughs> you were like, your business. your business. Yeah, you stopped it because yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You didn't want us to you, look at right, your right. messages. 1 800 Chew It from the back. Yo, open <laughs> that one, bro. Open that one. Chew it from the back. 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 Not making a cut. <laughs> Not making a <the> cut. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, oh I, I'll God. get to it and watch it, man. And the first 20 minutes don't grab me. Hey, at least he got a view up out of me. What else should I be watching on Netflix? I feel like I'm I'm super lost. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh. And GTA is not on Netflix. <laughs> it might no, be. He, he, here's it one. Might be. Um, reindeer, uh, baby reindeer. You know? I heard oh, that was trash, I've seen bro. that a little nah, bit. Nah, shit's crazy. Heard it was trash, bro. bro. How many uh, episodes you made it through? All, I watched the whole shit. You a shit, loser. Shit was crazy. Shit was crazy. Okay. Like, it is, I do not like again? watching people get violated. Stalker. Or stalker Didn't he woman. end up with the stalker? No. No. Hmm. So what happened was, basically, he worked at a bar. Christmas reindeer again, what's it called? Baby reindeer. reindeer. Ba baby reindeer. Why do you call it baby reindeer, though? That, that was her Just... nickname for him. Super weird. She He worked at a bar, came in a bar, you know what I'm saying, and just, she came in lying off, off top. So she had like a flip flown Flip flown Flip flip flown. Yeah. Flip 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 And she would text, and then at the end of her text, she would put sent from iPhone. First of all, red flag number one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I bet she had big forehead too. That bitch be crazy. She kind of looked like a mom. She, wow. She's she a BBW. She's mad. Wait, wait till this next act. <laughs> Play with me if you want to. 
Oh, he thought you were edits uh, now. I'm <laughs> 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 a I'm a report. I'm a report the post. <laughs> that everybody under it and and the account. Face, don't be though. account restricted. <laughs> like what happened, Mila? <laughs> Mila happened. Oh my god. Well, yeah. I mean, long long story short, man. She was stalking him. Um, he was a comic. She was just doing a lot of wild shit, and it's and it's uh, a true story. You know what I mean? So watch that if if you got time. No. He don't. The short right. answer is no. The well, long answer is hell no. You watch it then, you if you got time. Oh, uh, okay. Um, let, let, let's, let's jump into the world of basketball before we get out of here. <sighs> Shannon Sharp and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm definitely going back to Jaden, though. Go ahead. Cool. But our drunk uncles. <laughs> <laughs> our, our, our very lovable, funny ones, too, though. Yeah, man. Shaq, Shaq, like, I fucks with you, bro. Um, this would probably be the first time... <sighs> I don't understand it, bro. It, it it doesn't make sense. First of all, explain. Stop rapping. <laughs> Why well, he gotta stop, stop rapping? rapping. Um, and I blame. And actually, you know what, Shaq? I recant my statement. This isn't your fault. You're you're high off the energy of Drake and Kendrick. <laughs> Kendrick. Talk right? about it, bro, for real. And now this is the new way. Yep. Well, not even the new way to respond to somebody. The rejuvenated way to get back. Now, to your point, or. T- to your uh, credit, credit. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you for the assist. <laughs> um, you did the same shit with Kobe, right? You responded that way. Yep. Now I understand that you're the biggest human on earth, and you fighting somebody <laughs> like no one's gonna win. I would super get it. Facts. You rapping like that's not that's not it. It's not, the not move. It. Was that the beat fire? No, nah, none of that shit was cool. Yeah. Him rapping against Dame wasn't fire, bro. Yeah. He rapped against Dame after Kobe. Remember that. You know what I'm saying? Dame Dame actually got a better flow. I don't like Dame's rapping either, but Dame got a better flow than Shaq. I mean, bro, you this is the first time I've seen and I don't give a fuck what he feel about it. It's not, I'm not trying to be hurtful. I've seen Shaq's insecurities on display. Like because somebody's saying that the Joker is an absolute beast at center and maybe the most versatile overall center. Shaq, you definitely you're definitely the most dominant center I've seen in my lifetime. But Joker <clears> got all the skills, man. I don't think he deserved MVP this year, but what does rapping or, or you shitting on somebody else's opinion do? You're on TV you, every you, day. You opinion shaming, bro, for what? Yeah, you're, you're opinion you're, shaming. Yeah. Like, bro, you're on, you're on TV every day. Right. You can go on TV and give your response to him. Yeah. You took time out to pull a producer, an engineer, to have it <laughs> mixed to have it mix and master. You just mad because he didn't call you. Like, give me like one of your beats. Clothes you got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dog. And then, yeah. like, well, fuck Shaq, let me be clear. <laughs> no one is going to go find the entire song. Like you put it on your IG and you gave thirty seconds of the joint. I, I first of all, I didn't want to hit those thirty seconds. Let alone the rest <laughs> of the joint. Meanwhile, is in his DM like, "Hey man, yeah, you man. need some beats, Paula." Drop, drop the rest of it. <laughs> right? No, Shaq. I like Shaq. I fucks with you, bro, and and I'm not scared of you. I'm just telling you <laughs> that that was not the right move, bro. You got a 21 year old, you overseas, getting busy, <laughs> right. live your life, bro. Like a young Shawnee too, though, which is kind of disturbing. Question: uh, you what, know, he, got, he got taste. What yeah. what yeah. NBA rapper should have written his bars? None. None. I'm just. They should go shoot in the gym. Oh my God. <laughs> no. Who would shoot. you pick to write? Probably to write Dane. Dane right now, Dane. No, I go with Shumpert. Shump, I like Shumpert. I didn't know he rapped. Yeah, I like Shump. I do like Shump. I don't think. Shump. I don't think Shump style. Shump, he a crib. He, he, he from the crib. He from the crib. You yeah, can tell yeah, he yeah, got yeah, the crib ribs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shaq, they don't fit Shaq, bro. <laughs> Now I don't know, you know, as you, if you write with somebody like Jada can say it, uh, you lose a part of you because you have to recreate create another person. Oh, like, yeah. you, like you would write for Puffy shit, but getting back to Jada Kiss now. Oh, let me let me let me finish okay. this up. Uh-huh, go ahead. I do like what you did say in your in your message, Shaq. He says, <laughs> for those of you <laughs> who know me and Shannon, don't fucking call me. Ain't no fucking sit down. I respect that. What do you say? I'm talking about nothing. I respect that. I yeah, what talk would they talk about? You know what I'm saying? One of y'all a Hall of Famer. One of y'all got a gold jacket. Y'all both won. What's a gold jacket? Won. Hall of Fame jacket for football. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's, uh, what's, what's your Jada? Oh, fuck. I was going to say, uh, oh, he was one of the ones that said, you know, that that rap beef was good because wasn't nothing going to happen from it. Him, Styles, you know, uh, a bunch of other artists. Oh, you're going to current beef. Yeah. Now. They said that, you know. Got it. Yeah. Uh, let them guys rap and fight, you know, on the microphone because nothing, they not going to do nothing to each other. And we had a conversation on this show and I was like, well, hey, maybe we agree, maybe we didn't agree. I don't remember because I'm my brain cells are fried. I, did, I definitely did not agree because I said this level of rapper who are not from the street, it will not turn street. And I hit back with what? 
uh, bro, what you said to me was, bro, you don't know about the camps? They, you know, you can't control it. Uh, I don't that. like how yeah. you've been impersonating yeah, us he's, he's today personally. You're not good at this. You're not, you're not, not daddy boy. And now you remember what he said on that clip, but you couldn't remember what I said last <laughs> weekend. Well, I said mm. <laughs> you can you can you can you can know what you can know what Kendrick and Drake gonna do, but you don't know what the camps gonna do. The underlies gonna do. And now you got for the second time in the week, motherfucker at Drake crib one drive by somebody got you. People will say it's staged, but no, nah, motherfucker getting shot in the chest critically wounded. That's not staged. And somebody trying to come to your crib another time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is why I said and I stand ten toes down on rap beef does nothing for rap. Period. Rap albums couldn't come out when these two was beefing. You got Shaq thinking he could rap. Now you got the game fighting Rose, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm, I'm happy about that. Rick, Rick the Rose, ladies, the ladies been beefing too. So Sukiyana came um, out with her. They've been fighting a long time though. For JT, <laughs> they've been fighting a long time. I'm like, man, it's just I'm. It I'm, is. I, I've seen a picture with all of them with no makeup, and I ain't finna judge nobody because everybody look good to somebody. Uh -oh. You know what I'm saying? I, I probably hit them all if I could have a chance to. But Are they ugly women calling ugly women ugly is a problem to me. Like, bro, <laughs> what is y'all doing? They might be less than that. They might be less than that. I'm like, wow, y'all need to stop calling us and love each other. Y'all need more love in the women's community, though. Yeah, Fuck all that. yeah, we do. We, uh, in, we in absolutely the, do. In, in the sports world, though, <laughs> JJ Reddick made a comment uh, about 30 basketball players being able to switch over and play football. And of course, football players, you know, in their pride was like, no, nah, they can't do that. Blah, 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 so and so and so. And their main reason was you can, basketball players couldn't take the contact. I'm like, mm, this is interesting. I think that's your ego talking. I can get used to contact. You have to acquire skills Ow. to play. <laughs> Paul, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the, the conversation they had was toughness versus skills. And I'm going to side with, not because I play ball, but I think ball players have a unique set of skills and they're really talented, bro, that they can switch over and play uh, different uh, other sports, track, even football. To be a football player coming to play basketball, you, you have to have played to me, at least in grammar school, two sports style, grammar school, two sports in high school, that way you know how the game goes. At, at a high level. At an okay level. High school, definitely high level. At high school, get you by in high okay. school, bro. High enough to get a scholarship at a D1, mid, mid or high major. What are we talking about again now? We're talking right. about basketball player going to play football. football. Yes. I was talking about football. Football, football to, to basketball. Okay. Still, still, I, I still keep so saying I'm trying to think of 30 football players that can go over and play basketball right now. I really can't think of zero. But I made I made a short list. The napkin. Oh my god. Charlie Ward's on that list, I hope. Uh current. He said current. He okay. said current. So uh LeBron actually played football, you know, in high school, the high level had scholarship, you know. LeBron Irish. James, Donovan Mitchell, Aaron Gordon, Bam Adebayo, Russ, Grant Williams, Javante Green from the Bulls, Fox from Sacramento, Paulo Bancaro from Orlando, Josh Hart from New York, Jalen Brunson Love. Dread head ass from uh, New York, Cam Johnson, uh, Drew Holiday, Cal Laurie, OG Ananobi, Isaiah Stewart, Io from the Bulls, Demar from the Bulls. The Nassis got to go play football because basketball can't be a sport, bro. <laughs> he got to go play football. There you can't go. be a sport. And for good measure, take this football player, it's Brittany Griner. Her pecs and abs are better than most y'all's, <laughs> motherfucker. And her voice is deeper. She can go play football too. So I need y'all to chill out. And respect b-ball players, okay? No shade to y'all, because y'all are brutal what y'all do. Something has to be mentally wrong with you motherfuckers to get hit in the head over and over again and high-five each other. When a motherfucker hits me, I want the referee or official to say, foul, flagrant. <laughs> you are like, don't do Stop. that. Stop now! Y'all get excited, bro. I'm like, something's wrong with us. I would never challenge y'all y'all sport. I don't want to play football. But y'all can't come do what we do. I think we're going to do what y'all do. <laughs> you think, I have nothing to add. You think that basketball players... Okay, all right. Yeah. Now... I would I would have to agree. Let me ask you this though on the flip side. What football players do you think could leave the NFL and go NBA? Uh I got those that play certain positions. I, I was gonna say running first, backs. Though. Maybe, but they would be they get a lot of offensive fouls. They I don't even know what they do. I just want right. to say no, no, something. No, no, but like cornerbacks and safeties, <laughs> cornerbacks and safeties, bro. To me. And tight ends, pause. Okay, so but Damn. but but you have to <laughs> You have, you have to have a like you say you have to have a skill set. Yes. Uh, when you're talking about you need speed in football and basketball. Basketball, huh? You need speed in football Do and you basketball. Need? You need balance. Yes. You need athleticism. Yes. Hand-eye coordination. Yes. What else do you need? Explosiveness. Yes. Basketball has all that, bro. All the things a mom but doesn't then, have. 
court, I think coordination <laughs> is where ball players, basketball players would have the edge of football players. Okay, all right. So then the pushback for me would be um, your MVP is not athletic. So I ain't named him, did I? <laughs> I did not name but him. But he was he was part of the five that you named. And none of the MVPs, would, they're usually quarterbacks in the NFL, can go play basketball, bro. A lot of the quarterbacks played have jump shots. That's it. Played high school and, and could have played mid, you know what I'm saying, major uh -huh. um, basketball, right? Right. Um, even, even uh, what's his name? Um, Bears quarterback, Cole is, he was Denver Broncos quarterback. He was our quarterback next. What's his name? Go ahead. White boy. I can't think of his name. I forgot his name. Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler, right? Jay Cutler was decent in high school. You're right. Right? High school. 6'5". He, he, he actually has scholarships to play basketball. So what I'm saying is there, there may be more players in the NBA that can cross over to the NFL. Right. Less players that can leave the NFL and cross over to I the agree. NBA. I agree. No argument there. Right? No. I heard somebody say uh, Terrell Owens. No. I've seen Terrell Owens who he doesn't have a skill set. <laughs> he doesn't. You can't tell him that though. Yeah, he doesn't. He didn't do anything. Um, and 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 those are those are two totally different sports. Now we're talking baseball, right? I think I think that 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 number changes. Baseball players, they had not coordination is something else. They don't really have to be in shape. A lot of them are, but a lot of those players also play like basketball too. Why is basketball the, the common denominator in a lot of these sports? Greatest game on earth. I believe so too. Start from a fucking peach basket and they know a no <laughs> a slow footed white man in Canada. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's it though, bro. Fuck it. Well, uh, Kels, you, what up? You okay? I'm straight. I'm over here making my uh, Saturday plans. What's good? There you go. All right. Well, you know, I just want to tell you that. Oh. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of your weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You already right. gave me that trash apology. He right back at it though. He did. He right back at it on Monday. I don't know what type of apology you want. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, you know, you're at different ends of the spectrum. It doesn't mean that I was right. It doesn't mean that I was wrong. And, and <laughs> you were person. absolutely wrong. I was absolutely right. Oh my goodness. But we're not here for. I'm that. just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else, what else is going on in the city coming up? Anything that we need to? talk about know about uh oh uh, uh besides emancipation ball that will be there we'll be at juneteenth at the woodlawn love um, it so super super right on the nine baby yeah that's same day there. no it's not the same day it's gonna uh, well, the, that's a wednesday yeah we about to be yeah middle, tuesday wednesday yeah middle of the week take the week off middle of the week we work. outside <laughs> middle of the week we are outside <laughs> yeah i'm looking forward to it uh yeah other, <laughs> other than that now. Um, check out check out the uh, edition uh, Chicago News Weekly. All the festivals um, all are the in there. Uh, we got a new website for Full Fest. Check us out fullfestshy.com. Always looking for sponsors, vendors, of course, the official podcast of the festival. Y'all, we got three stages and twenty four DJs this year. Let's go. Same location. Same location. Twelve to eight p.m. It's gonna be it's gonna be a great time. So shout out to the Soul Selector DJs, Diverse City, Just Sandwiches, Eat Place Nature Center. Um, and all of the other people who, you know, Noel Garcia, um, Moore's, Funky Town. Come uh, on now. Yeah, we, we, people are really, like, people are asking me, like, what's good and can't wait to, can't wait to come. Time. So time, third, third year is, uh, is, is super dope. So, yeah. And don't forget to buy our merch. Um, what's the website? Thecornerconvo.com. Yeah. It's a new shit on there that we haven't even put out to the public. So, um, be the first to get it. And then post it. Uh, but the person that's in charge of that is to my immediate left. So, you. damn. My, <laughs> my second immediate left. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? I don't know nothing about no much. Uh, no, no. It's, it's, we it's, cooking. We cooking up, bro. It's, it's, it's some dope shit out there. It's some dope shit out there. Yeah, and don't forget to give us a uh, give us a shout out. 312-521-0650. Uh, drop, us a, drop us a message. Send, send us a show topic. Um, Hate on us. I don't give a fuck. Roast Amon. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I'm yeah, with yeah. it. I'm gay. Yeah. It wasn't me. All right, man. 198. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing for 200. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be good. Are man. we dressing alike? Wow. What fuck you mean? This ain't Great America. Yeah, whatever. You know, I make I Great get, America I, great again. I get whatever I want. <laughs> no. I got nigga. the Christmas tree. That's the problem, <laughs> man. Hey, look, look. I was about to say some wild shit, but okay. Um, 
Uh, shout out to all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day, for real, for real. Ooh, red for my red, though. Y'all enjoy yourselves. Um, stop having babies and <laughs> move on with life. Get you from the back. <laughs> chew it from the get back. Get you from the back. This weekend. You deserve from it. The back. Get you from the back. <laughs> okay. I gotta put your neck in. <laughs> yeah, that's a chew from the back motion. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that better not be the name of this episode, man. Don't put my face on that. <laughs> hey, we at 198. We out. Out of here. Peace, y'all. Oh, yep. Hey, Brandy. <laughs> I just saw her last week. Hey, how my boo doing? She's great. Good, man. She had to love with somebody. <laughs>